stuff on social media, i.e. now the specifically what you're saying, the reels and the shorts yeah. and the TikToks and stuff like that, because yeah. odds are like the average person that's going to see that is not going to be your, and, and the not way the algorithm be your works, follower. it's not going to be your followers. It's going to yeah. be some random kid in Texas. Yep. And it's like, I, I, at the end of the day, I need that random kid in Texas to like that video, try to find my content. And then he's going to, if that's all helping the brand, I got to, that's all helping the brand. Doing, and I got to keep, keep doing, doing that. that. And so what you said about the ego, it probably is a little bit of ego. Cause what you're doing is you almost don't want your followers to see it. Yeah. You almost just you like, want maybe those. Maybe like embarrassed, maybe your friends. A little and bit stuff. in yeah. a way, right? Because you're kind of like, you're man, like goofy, goofy <laughs> slash corny <laughs> slash yeah. cringe. Yeah. All these things people don't want to be. They're so scared of being yeah. that that they almost become those things. Because, <laughs> it, because in reality, you know, I'm not uh, scared of looking like that because... I am a little bit that, right? Like yeah, I am a little bit awkward that. and I am a little bit, you know, goofy and I am a little bit of a cornball or whatever. And it doesn't matter. It's it doesn't matter. People it. like that. People like the fact that that I'm funny and that I'm goofy and that I'm this and that. If you don't got no personality, like yeah. good luck to you. Yeah. I mean, you know what we're I mean? all weird but in our own way. We're all weird in our own way, but people are scared to showcase whatever they're interested in. On social media, let's be honest, because most yeah. of the stuff looks like everybody else's stuff. Yeah. And so that's not really the unique expression of that person. Some people yeah. are a little scared. People are a little scared of the judgment that they'll face. Yeah. And I think I think guys also in particular, I know some of my friends probably don't post on social media because they're so worried about yeah. the few girls that they never spoke to, but they follow each other. And it's like, oh, dude, what is she going to think of me? It's like, bro, like, what is she going to think How about of you me? DM yeah. her? And if it doesn't go well, start posting some fucking content or yeah. whatever, whatever it may be. You yeah, know? whatever it I may be. I know a lot be. of guys definitely trip over that. And I, I can see it being a problem, you know? I think it is a problem yeah. because I just think that, you know, us thinking about what people have to think can be a problem. But then at the same time, you know, Let's not get over the top now because people will be like, don't care what people think, never care what people think, all this, right? But the reality is, you know, I value your opinion. You have to be a psychopath to not to really not care, care what at all. Think. And yeah, like, no, I sure. value your opinion. Like, I'm yes. talking to a person who I have respect for, and therefore I do care. Actually. Yeah. I actually do care a little bit what you think. And so it's not that you don't care at all in that way, but you have to not care in the way of like, man. How, for how long are you going to hide not being yourself? You know, it's like tiring to not be yourself. It's almost like a regret. Like you keep regretting. It's a regret. And it's also, it's stressful because you're always having to like keep up with something that you're not. Mm. And so it's just easier to be yourself and to just kind of have some flaws come along with it. Have some. Well, nowadays, I think the problem is we're all so flawed. Yeah. And people want to cancel each other for these minute little flaws. You make a goofy joke and it's like, oh, yeah. you're this, you're that, you're this. I think and there's like, room. Right. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm not going to say that. I'm anymore. not going to say that and now. Because I'm not going to say culture. anything ever, mm-hmm. ever again. I think that's where a lot of people are. I'm not going to lie. I've We've all been followed, there. Dude, it's affecting yeah, us. I it's, affecting, it. it's affecting It's affecting us, it's affecting us because bro. I don't want to say anything right now as we're talking that insults anybody or makes anybody go, wow, that was wild. But I kind of do, but I don't want to get canceled in certain. <laughs> right. Well, I don't want to do that unless it's my it. truth. But you know, you know. So yeah, it's like yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. But what if it's my truth? So you don't want to. Well, that's answer. the idea of the freedom of speech. It's not just about the freedom of speech. It's about somebody being able to be honest. Because what's the world without? People just being able to be honest. Otherwise, that's that's kind of how everything happened with Trump and everything. Everyone was like, what? What? Trump's president? It's like, dude, these people haven't been speaking about it. You know, they haven't been honest to you about it. But they like him. Yeah. And they're going to vote him in. Yeah. And that's the problem is that no, nobody's being honest. Nobody's actually because they're scared of it. They're scared of the cancel culture. And so, you know, it's not just about there's a law of freedom of speech. It's literally about like humankind, mankind. It's not going to go in a positive direction if, if everybody's hiding their true selves. Well, that's not, it's not the law of freedom of speech. It's more like the ideal. Oh, the idea is sure. The ideal of not even speech, but the idea of like being able to. Th- stretch your thought and speech is where you're going to be able to stretch your thought so if you're sure. wrong about something sure you're like oh shit i'm wrong but you shouldn't be 
persecuted. You shouldn't against. be persecuted. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that, because at some point you might be right. Like at some point, at you, some point you might. Be it's like right. if you said like, oh, COVID came from a lab. It's like, dude, yeah, get this guy off YouTube. And it's like, and then, oh, it's now it's like I think COVID did come from a lab. It's like, well, you already yeah. kicked me off YouTube. You're on an island by yourself. I like, look, I like to listen. There's a to, fine line, right? I, absolutely, and I like to listen to a lot of people who are. Not scared of that. 